there in your Kendrick's office? And, uh, <laughs> was there a, at one point, was there a, starting to become a conscious effort that let's just keep this on the ground? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, yes, yeah, you want to score 40 points every night? Yeah, but you yeah. see how our defense is playing. And it's awesome, you know, to be able to play with our, co our defensive coaches and how our, our defensive kids are playing. And so basically sometimes as an offense, you just want to control the football, play field. You know, old you guys remember old-fashioned football? Play field position, control the clock. I don't know, we had like 38 minutes of possession time, you know, and the way our defense was playing. And then just, you know, hopefully dial up a couple big plays to get put some points on the board. I was not happy with, you know, and it's been like about three times, four times in the last two weeks is um, our execution down in the red zone. You know, I mean, that kind of always pisses me off down there. Cause, you know, we move the football and then it was, you know, a penalty or, you know, maybe it's a game plan or just decision making. So we got to do a better job of finishing drives, which I thought in the first half really was, you know, something that, that bothered me. That the quarterback's fault? No, it's my fault. Everything's my fault. <laughs> Are you what sure you it's not the quarterback's Brett? fault? Sorry, my fault. <laughs> what did you see out of Brett tonight? See, look, I didn't even know he was there. I didn't even know he was there. You see how I answered that, Brett? <laughs> no, it was my fault. <laughs> Brett, you always walk in at right when I get started. And look at everybody leaves me. One left now. <laughs> what did you think of how Brett did tonight? I thought he managed the game, you know, and that's his job as a quarterback. You know, manage the game, made the plays when we had to have them. Of course. I'm, you know, of course, you got to hang on to that one, that last one there, and he knows that. You know, it's kind of, I thought, you know, the game's done at that point. We make that first down, you know, and we give them another shot at it. But, you know, made some big throws for us, made some big runs, converted. You know, I think probably Coach Moore has already talked, has broached, is that it? Broached. Broached. Broached the subject. Broached the subject of penalties. You know, too many times, you know, penalties are putting us in first and long, second and long. But no, I thought he did a great job of converting some third downs for us. In terms of him running, it seems like he's been running quite a bit more lately. Is Are you comfortable with the way that's going? Or No, I kind of like it better with Paul and, and Starks. I really like how Starks really is really come, starting to be a factor in this whole deal. Um, but, you know, anytime you play a team that's a drop 18, so a lot of those, most of those aren't called runs for a quarterback. But when they're a drop 18, that's just kind of what happens. You know, when they're, they're, they're dropping eight to stop him throwing the football, and so his last avenue is to, yeah, I'm just going to take this off running. He's such a good runner. You know, we already rushed for about 150 tonight. You know, those weren't, I think out of that 150, there was maybe three of them that were actually called quarterback runs for him. Are there sometimes when he maybe leans? That was on a his big. That was a big win right there. It was yeah. a good win. A good team win. Yeah. Are there sometimes when he maybe misses guys downfield because he's kind of scrambling and he gets in that that mindset where he he can run? Obviously, sometimes it works. But I don't know. You got to ask him. You know, I don't. I don't. None of us see it from the angle he sees it from. You know, I mean, there's a hundred times I go, that guy's. You know. How many times you watch a game on TV? Why is he throwing to him? That guy's wide open, you know. But you know, I'm, we're not standing back and seeing it from his angle. So, you know, I mean, his job is to move the chains and get us in the end zone. If that means by his legs, by his arm, whatever means, then you know. Like I said, I don't. I got to do a little bit better job in the red zone. I think we got to execute a little bit better in the red zone. I, I, to me, that was the only only thing tonight. I look back on and say, God, I mean, just in the first half, we're down there three times and come away with maybe four times, come away with three points. I mean, that's not acceptable. Before that field goal miss, you guys were the only team left in college football that was perfect in the red zone. So you know what? Now we got that monkey off our back. <laughs> yeah, now we can go. all breathe again. You know, maybe that's what it is. Oh, we can't screw this up, so we better get it done. So now maybe we say, okay, we can't worry. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Thanks, Coach.